So we're here at the NXP with the Hexi Wear right here. So hello. Hello, my name is Gregory Kamuzat. I'm working in the Microcontroller Solution Group. And we are very excited because yesterday we received three awards for Exiwear. Yeah. All solution for IoT and wearable applications. So best IoT product here, the ARM TechCon. Why yes. is the best IoT product? So Exiware is a solution which has been designed by NXP and Microelectric teams Ooh. as a finished product. Yeah. So it accelerates uh, customer time to market. It's finished. I mean, yeah, what it do you mean? looks like a, a finished product for every kind of wearable or IoT product, and um, that will help the customer to go faster to production. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that will also um, secure their migration from prototype to manufacturing uh, and also um, uh, reduce their cost for development and the manufacturing. So what do we see here? What is this? So if you look carefully, I can open one for you. Yeah. Uh, this little board uh, includes a total of 12 components, among which uh, a powerful microcontroller, are Cortex-M4, with uh, plenty of memories. You have Bluetooth, low energy. You have an OLED color uh, screen, and uh, you have uh, eight sensing features, which are populated on both sides of the PCB, plus a rechargeable battery. So every kind of uh, functions that you need to create your own uh, IoT app or wearable application. So uh, over here uh, we see it says uh, Warp Seven. Is this the next Warp? Or so this is the Warp a... was something that uh, Fuske was launching two three years ago, right? Yes. So we launched a new version that you can see on the back side of this board. And it's a pendant of uh, Exiware, which is microcontroller based, and Warp 7 is microprocessor based. So if your IoT application require additional computation performance or multimedia features like uh, high graphic screen resolution, uh, Warp 7 is a perfect equivalent. Is it IMX7? Yeah, it's based on an uh, ARM Cortex S7 core, and it's uh, called IMX7. And there is also an ARM Cortex M4 real time microcontroller on board. Right. So uh, your title is uh, Startups and Innovators, right? Uh, exactly. What do you do with them? So we are trying to help those people to go faster to production using all solutions. Uh, we are also building an ecosystem of partners around the solution to provide them additional services like design, software services, manufacturing certification, and also middleware. So um, around this uh, area, do you have different? Uh... Yes, 24 application use cases featuring Exiware so and here, for um, in different environments. So it could be smart home where you are doing some flame detection with this um, uh, click module extension. So because Exiware can be also extended thanks to the click module from Microelectronica, which has a portfolio of 200 products, so which is really wide. 200. Yes. So there's. Uh... There for is example, a flame detector these? here, so the sensor is not on board Exiware, but okay. connected using the, the click socket. And we have here an air quality sensor, which is sensing the different gas in the room. So we have the information <laughs> which are displayed on the Exiware screen and send over Bluetooth. Okay. We have some Wi-Fi here that we can control from a phone to switch on and off a relay of our Wi-Fi. Yeah. And here it's a motion detector, which is detecting movement uh, in the yeah. room, like an alarm uh, yeah. uh, sensor. Okay. And what do we have over we here? We have here um, yeah. some um, uh, smart world, so which is more for the outside world. So you are measuring here uh, some methane, uh, some thunder. Uh, you can detect some storm approaching. Thunder? Yeah. Hydrogen sensor or UV sensing, it will be detecting the UV in the air. What, what um, H2 sensor? Hydrogen. So it's Hydrogen. more for factory um, to uh, protect the workers. And here we have different uh, examples also for smart interfaces. So we can control a relay, I mean, uh, with um, a touch interface. So this project has been developed on embed. And um, I mean, customer can quickly reuse uh, uh, software available online uh, for free because uh, everything is open source. Everything is open source? Yes. Uh, design file of the board and uh, software source code is open source, available for embed and uh, the free uh, tool chain from NXP Kinetic Design Studio. All the CPUs are open source? So the microcontroller, I mean, um, uh, source code will be available uh, online for free, yes, and also the design file of the board. So there's no bi uh, binary blob, there's no uh, proprietary area of anything here? No, I mean, uh, the code which runs on the board is completely open source, so the people can reuse it and modify it for their application and go to production with it without fees. Nice. And there's an LED right here? Yeah, if you want to make some panel, I mean, there is a, a, a pro program example which teach you how to drive this array of 8x8 LEDs and display some messages with libraries to create your own messages. Here you have some, some MP3 player. So you have the, the sound. So it's running from the, the, the sound yeah. store in MP3 on the SD card. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah. it's um, uh, transmitted uh, over Exiware to a chip which is doing the amplification. Why do you design a lid like this? What is the idea? So the idea is that um, we embed and exeware a lot of features, yeah. and but the application of the customer may uh, vary, and they will need probably some external components which are not on exeware. So, so thanks to the docking, people can um, uh, prototype their own application and um, include the chip externally using the click module connector among a selection of 200 products. So they will for sure find every kind of option. I mean, you have the, the, the audio version, you have um, some camera uh, example where you can see, uh, I mean, the, the image displayed on, um, on the Exiware screen to demonstrate that it's also colored. Uh, I mean, then you have some RGB LED application and uh, Exiware come with also um, some cell phone apps for Android and iOS, which source code is completely open source and some cloud services. So our partner is Walkabout for this um, application. But and we are also compatible with uh, other vendors like um, yeah. IBM Bluemix. So what are we looking at here? So it's a wristband that Microelectronics has developed uh, to propose, I mean, a, a wearable version of the board. So you can easily uh, mount it on your on your on your wrist. And yeah. uh, as a comparison, you have my TomTom -tom watch. You see that Xiaomi is bigger, but as a prototyping tool, it's very acceptable in terms of size. I mean, but uh, right here is just the board. With no sensors, but uh, no, all the sensors are inside. All the sensors. Yes, you have the microcontroller, you have the display, you have the battery with the charger, you have the Bluetooth, and you have the eight sensor in this board. How much it costs? Forty nine dollar for 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 the Exiware board. And if you want to reprogram it, you can do it using a Bluetooth over the air via the Sendfall app. But I definitely recommend you to acquire the docking station, which includes the, the program and debug uh, components. So the, the docking station is how much? $39. So it's $49 for basically just For the that. module, yes. With the strap? Uh, not no, the strap. The, the strap, strap is, is $10 optional. or something yeah. like that. And then $39 for the docks. And you need one dock to reprogram multiple boards, because after a while, if you don't need the click module, uh, you'd use the docking just once to program it. All right, so available all over the world. People available by every tailors and uh, soon by your good volume distributors. So you won the award right here. How yes. big do you think this is going to be? I think that will be a great help for us to uh, get more people uh, aware about our solution and how we are trying to help uh, every company to go faster to production. So we are very excited about that.